five of the fantasy basketball season, and he has a few centers I would drop this week. The first guy, Chris Boucher, the Toronto Raptors. I mentioned Boucher the last couple weeks as a drop, but he's still only 54% of fantasy leagues. This year, it's been a struggle with him playing a major minutes in Nick Nurse's rotation. And he's a guy banged up with a back injury as well. So on the season for Boucher, 5.4 points a game, 3.5 rebounds, 0.8 blocks a game, and an awful 37% from the field. So last season, he had a monster year and a breakout year at 14 and 7. But this year, he's just not getting the job done. The efficiency's down, the block shots are down, and the playing time is down. The last few games from November 7th at Boston, no points. Two rebounds. November 11th, probably his best game of the season at Philly. 17 points, six boards of steal, and two blocks, and 58% from the field. And November 13th versus Detroit, two points, a rebound, 3% from the field. So right here, Boucher, he's not having big games. He's not getting the job done. And now with the back injury, there's no reason to hold on or stash him on your injured list here right now. And he's an easy center to drop this week, which fantasy owners have dropped him in 8% of fantasy leagues over the last few days. The next end is Kelly Olynyk of the Detroit Pistons. So Kelly Olynyk, he's out for a while now with an MCL sprain. And at least six weeks, he's going to be out. I know Olynyk last season was pretty good with the Rockets, obviously. Olynyk last season was good with 13 and a half and seven boards. And even this season, pretty solid, 12 and a half points a game, 5.3 boards, 2.3 assists, 1.4 steals a game. 1.4 threes a game, 45% from the field. But this Piston team, we know they're a young team, and they're not really going anywhere this season. And I think they're going to take their time with him, especially he's a seven-footer, a big guy. And those injuries just take time, especially those knees and ankles. So the last few games before he went out, he was pretty solid, though. November 4th versus Philly, 11 points, five boards, a steal, two threes, 40% from the field. November 5th versus the Nets, 14 points, 10 boards, two assists, a steal, a block, Two threes and 45% from the field. And November 10th at Houston, 13 points, six boards and assists, two steals, a block, and three threes and 45% from the field. So he's a good stretch five. No doubt about it, he's so Linux. But right now, he's not that good to the point we're going to have him on my injured list for six to eight weeks here with the knee injury. So this week, I would definitely drop him. And hopefully, you could get him back if he produces when he ever comes back. Because that takes us to week 11 or 12. By the time he returns here for this Piston team. And the third and final center I would drop this week. Snerlin's Noel with the New York Knicks. And Nerlens Noel, it's been an injury-riddled season for him for the most part. After signing a nice contract in the offseason, a three-year deal to remain in New York. After a breakout season last year. So on the season so far, in only five games played for Noel. 4.8 points a game, 6.8 rebounds, 1.5 steals, 1.3 blocks a game. And still 77% from the field, but Mitchell Robinson's back in the lineup for the Knicks as well. And he looks pretty healthy. Noel has banged up and missed the last two games now with a knee injury. He was questionable going into Monday's game yesterday. But that just didn't happen for Noel and the Knicks playing. So right here, the last few games before he went down. November 5th in Milwaukee, 6 points, 13 boards, 3 steals a block. November 7th versus the Cavaliers, 5 points, 6 boards. Three steals, three blocks, 100% from the field. And November 8th at Philly, six points, two rebounds, and 66% from the field before he went down with injury. So now, well, he's still on the 52% of fantasy leagues right now. But right here, the big numbers aren't going to be there, obviously, if he's not going to play as much. And last season, he had a lot of the breakout once Mitch Robinson went out for the season with a broken leg. So right now, with his injury... With his numbers and his playing time not guaranteed more than 20 minutes a game once he returns. He's an easy center to drop in my opinion. So that's a few centers I would drop here for week 5 of the fantasy basketball season.